Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a brand new Lego Ninjago set review. Today we are looking at set number 71756. This is the brand new Hydro Bounty and it is going to be available here in North America on August the 1st for $129.99 USD or $169.99 Canadian. I actually bought this from a Brickling store which you can find linked down below in the description. Because for the rest of the world, it's already out. So we're taking a look at it here. And this is based off of season 14 of the show, which is Seabound. And I think that this is a crazy set. The length of this is just, whew. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So before we actually get started, I figured that from afar here that I would show you the two main and biggest play features. So I think the biggest one here is that this actually will flap up completely there so that you can pull out the mini subs, but you'll see that closer in a second. It does kind of get stuck on there sometimes. You hear that? It's hitting there. So I'm not sure. I'm trying to move it over, but it still hits. Anyways, I, I can't get the angle from that side to actually show you because the camera position and everything. But there's this thing here in the back that you actually pull and it'll pull out and lift up these engines here in the back, I guess, to slow down or speed up. So I'm just show you that again there. So it's really neat that they'll actually open up at the same time. So these big pieces here, they have a really cool sticker and they're repeated all four times here. And I really love like a little danger symbol and that actually spells out danger in the Ninjago language. So what you do here is in the back, you pull on this and it'll actually lift up at the same time these parts and it's really neat so these little arms will actually push it forward so you just push back down and not that hard because you will pop it off and break it how it that is actually accomplished is there's actually these strings here and i'll lift it up so you can see see this little string it's actually attached here and you can see there that the string is actually over there on that side as well so as you actually pull this out it pulls on the string at the same time lifting them both up in the back here you have this little bubble which i guess is a little like viewing area from the interior and then here onto the side there's also two little portholes there that you could see and I love the main window here just to show you, it's very easy to pop that off there. It attaches only in the back, so very easy to remove that. And here's the only like interior spot for minifigures. And you've got four different seats there for the Ninja. You've got a bunch of different little control panels there, which is pretty neat. You also have an antique steering wheel there with a compass in the front. And in the back there, you do have one more seat. And on that side of the wall, there's another control panel. Exact same one used four different times. So this is what it looks like here with four of the Ninja inside. So there's four seats, three of them have hair pieces. And it just doesn't make sense. We'll get back to that when we talk about Nia at the end, but that's what it looks like with all four inside. And this little spot here can actually spin as well. I really love the look of that. And underneath here, there's also this sticker and it says 8927. And I looked it up and that's actually a Bionicle set and it's an underwater base set. So maybe it's the same set designer. I'm not really sure. I don't think that's a coincidence though. Here on the side of the sub, you can see that they have this really cool 2x2 two two tile there with a the dragon. And then you've also got these cool little lantern builds. I love how that looks there, like lights. So here you can lift this spot up and get access to the inside, which has these two little subs included. And it's very tight fit there, but it is pretty neat that you do have these two little subs. Now, they are actually colored here, and I'm not sure, but I believe But there's actually two other little mini subs here. There is Kai's as well as Zane's included in two different sets. So I'm going to assume that it's the same build and you can fit them inside. But you can see here that when we look, there's actually two spots there to attach them to. There's also this little spot here in the back, and I just put the crates in there now. They just sit loosely in there. It doesn't tell you what to do with these at all in the instructions or any of the pictures that I can tell, so that's where I put them. Here in the front, you do have this little stand and those pieces normally you could like fit a minifigure on. And I don't know if you're meant to do this, but you could have them like swimming or whatever. But I think it's just more of a design choice for that piece. Now here on the side, you actually have a missile launcher there. All you have to do is touch the front and it launches. While I'm moving this thing, I constantly launch the missiles there. So don't worry about it. I'm sure that'll happen to you as well. Here in the Ninjago lettering, we have the words Hydro Bounty and the whole front of this can actually pop off and you get to see here our first little small build, which we'll take a look at after we finish here. I love the little design here. This can actually spin and I don't know. It's cute. I don't, I don't really know what that's meant to be, I guess, as you're just spinning through. You've got some lights maybe 
maybe here on the bottom as well. And just because I'm sure that some of you want to know, here's what it looks like underneath. Here's the first little side build. And this thing is actually a mech here. And let's see if I can figure out how to do this. I've never actually done it. I never looked either of how to actually do it. Boom. Figuring it out as we go. Look at this. Boom. Boom. And then you've got these legs there as well. I think that can open up. Are these feet? Are these? Yeah, these feet open up here. And you've got this little mech. Look, look, look at him. You got a mech. So yeah, on the front there, you've got this little sticker for the eyes and you've got this little horn sticking out there in the front. Look at the little arms, they can move, the little legs can wobble around as well. And if you wanted to here as well, you could lift up the little dome and you could slide in a minifigure there. So yeah, it's a, it's a cute little, little extra thing, didn't need to do it. Here are the two little subs and again, this is the Cole one with his symbol there. Then you've got Lloyd there on the side. And on the sides here of the subs, it actually says their elemental powers. So for Lloyd's it says energy and then Cole's it says earth. That's what it says there in the Ninjago alphabet. And lifting it up there, you can see how you can just put the minifigures inside. And on the back, you do have these classic Ninjago pieces and they can spin. Also open up these little flaps there on the sides. Also, but I like the color schemes. Have we got a black one, sand green one, there's a red and a white one as well in another set. But you could actually fit both of them inside, flippers and all. Here's Prince Kalmar's little chariot, and I love this manta ray there. That is so beautiful looking with the whole designs there and the red eyes. Looks really, really neat. And of course, it is his chariot, so you can go ahead and actually put him on inside there. And you could grab the little rope, the rubber rope, and put it in his hand. Look at that. It looks so cool. As well as you've got two little stickers there, and that's repeated on the other side. And you can move these little flags if you wanted to different ways. And underneath, that's what it looks like. Here are the other little side builds here. And what you can do is you can put here on the stand the extra hair pieces included in the set if you wanted to. So I can't fit the harpoon guns here inside. They're not uh, the easiest to do. So you could have them sticking out a bit, but I believe you're actually meant to put all the extra flippers there from the six ninja if you wanted to inside there or some of their extra helmets. But the other thing that you could do here is instead of having their hair pieces on the stand, you can go ahead and actually put their new mask helmets there if you wanted to. So I figured we'd start with the ninja first, and I figured who better to start with than Nia. And the reason I said earlier that I think that there was a mistake with the setter, they forgot something, was because, like I said earlier, there's four seats inside, so if they're going to include hair pieces, you would think that they would include, again, not included in the set, only in the legacy version, the brand new hair piece and the wrap that is actually included in her water form in the other sets. So this is meant to be based off of this season, and then for some reason in the set, the only set that this figure comes in, it's not included. So I don't know what's up with that. I, I don't understand that. Um, but let me just take this off and show you the mask there. If you wanted to see what the hairpiece looked like, if you want to go out and get that set. But anyways, I just thought that I mentioned because it doesn't make sense why three of the ninja and the person whose season it is doesn't have the brand new hairpiece. <laughs> anyways, this this new outfit here for all of them is incredible looking. I love the designs there with the goggles like molded into the the masks there. That looks so neat. It's so strange here. Okay, so look at the the breathing tank here. This katana slides through it so that ruins my immersion you, you get you got an oxygen tank there and you got a katana s s sliding right through the whole thing <laughs> how's that work lego what um but the harpoon guns each of them all have these different little builds so she's got a dagger inside hers and the torso printing and everything is really really detailed she does have her symbol there in behind that so removing that, I just want to show you there that it's still actually attached. It's attached there at the hips. And on the back there, she does have some cool printing there and a little zipper to zip up the scuba suit. And here's Jay. And again, same sort of design there with his logo in the back and his helmet there popping that off. You can see what that looks like. Almost covers the mouth. And here's what he looks like with his hairpiece and the headband. And I forgot to say, but his harpoon gun has a spike on it. And spinning it around, you can see his back torso printing and face. <laughs> I'm not really going to comment anymore. I'm just going to say like who they are. So we've got Kai here because they've all got the same design. You've got the logo in the back. And uh, here for his harpoon gun, though, he's got a machete in gold. 
Here's what he looks like with the hairpiece on and then removing it, you can see here his back printing. Here is Laloid and he's got an arrow on his harpoon gun. And no, I will never stop making that joke. Here's his hairpiece and the headband and on the back here you can see his printing. Here's Cole and he's also got a arrow there on the harpoon gun. No hairpiece included for him but spinning it around here you can see his back printing. Here is Zane, his harpoon gun has a ski pole in gold. And here's what the printing looks like on the front and on the back. Here is Prince Kalmar and the printing here is just phenomenal as well as these pieces being used. I love the design of this piece. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at the back printing there as well with the shell. It looks so detailed. And you've got some chains there that carry over here onto the front. And this headpiece there is insane. I just, uh, I think that the eyes could have used a little bit more work. I'm not sure what happened and why they aren't bright green, but even the trident, I was really hoping we could get it in coral, but unfortunately we didn't. But oh my goodness, what a amazingly detailed figure. And here is the Mare Guard. And I apologize for only just thinking of this now at the end, but I could put them on the stamp pieces. But all the other ninja, you saw them before, all have the black flippers. But I think it's more integral here to the design of this figure to actually show you. Like, look at that. That looks so cool with the turquoise flippers. And as well, they're getting the dragon blade piece there in black. And I love the printing on the torso and the legs. And the headpiece there is so, so cool. I just would have loved maybe printing there on the eyes, but that's okay. And here's what the printing looks like without anything covering it. And here are the Woobots, and these are missiles that were launched from the Hydra Bounty. And it's it's pretty interesting, they've got some leg printing, and that piece there, the 2x2 two two tile, is actually completely printed. So, yeah, that's, that's the Woobot. And here is the Wave Amulet. And this is what the ninja are chasing after, of course, in this season. Then you've got like the glittery sort of transparent blue there, which just looks so neat. There you have it everyone, that is my review of the Hydra Bounty and you know, I wasn't really too interested in it and then I was kind of convinced because it had all the figures but specifically the exclusive Nia which was one of the main reasons why I got it and I, I don't regret it. I think it's a really cool looking design for the bounty. It's not my favorite bounty but it's still really really impressive I think and I gotta say while I was building it I'm kind of like hmm. I kind of want the other sets as well, but try to control myself because I've already got all the characters, which is really all that I care for when it comes to these sets, unless it's like got a really beautiful play set, which we're going to look at next. And speaking of which, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on that review as well as any Ninjago news and reviews to come. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.